Greetings, guys and gals. I'm Hundog608 here with Troy, and we're continuing. Uh, Phoenix Wright is Attorney 2, Justice for All. Old bag cross examination. That on guard is one evil, evil man. He thought he could ruin poor Juan by causing a huge scandal. Ooh. So, to do that, he sent his own manager to get in close with Juan. Oh, yeah, we were learning about that with Adrian Andrews last time. I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put my gloves on, too. And this is top secret, you got that? Nobody else but you and me know yet, okay? Okay. Well, wait, that's not true. Well, um, the, the where did we get that information from? From uh, the defendant said his manager. What a distasteful topic for this court. What? No one's above gossip. And isn't there a saying? The truth is never pleasant. Never heard that one before. Mr. Edgeworth, what about this Adrian Andrews person? We have looked into this matter and found the truth, the found that the truth the article proposes is, in fact, baseless gossip. Yeah, yeah, this, this is what I was thinking. Yeah, the, the ma magazine or whatever. But should this be true, then this proves that the defendant did bear ill will towards the victim. So this means I have to smash this rumor once and for all. Smash, yeah. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Be careful, that old bag seems rather excited right now. That's right, on guard is nothing but your average foul-blooded youth. All right. Well, as the old saying goes, you've got to burn old bags with fire. Let's do it. Time, time to fire up the afterburners and hit the highway to the danger zone. Uh, all right. Secret information. Top secret. On guard, you leave him, Annie. I guess. Hold it. I can't say something like that without proof. That's just slanderous. <laughs> but it's true! That woman was getting intimate with poor Juan. Look, it says so right here, doesn't it? Manager to the stars, Miss A. &E. But the name of the magazine, uh, this comes from his gossip land. What? Are you saying that gossip is all just a pack of lies? <laughs> what do you know? I suppose next you'll swear to me that news is 100% truth. Depends on the news network. Um... Honestly, son, you can't discriminate between the news and gossip. Unless... Um, yes, discrimination is bad, Mr. Wright. I didn't say anything. When did I, do any, when did I do anything like that? Anyway, a guard will never get me to say too shame. Uh, I thought he could ruin one by causing a huge scandal. Hold it. A scandal? What do you mean by that? You're a dim-witted one, aren't you? I can't believe you won't know what a scandal is. You don't know. Honestly, what are they teaching kids in middle school these days? Middle school? <laughs> uh, no, no. I wasn't asking what the word scandal means. Even I know that much. Well, that on guard thought he could own a monopoly on popularity. Mm-hmm. Get close with one. Okay. You don't have any proof of that, Mr. On guard, that... Mr. Ongard did any such thing. Oh yeah, I know what we need to talk about. We but need to talk about Adrian Andrews' real reasons for going. Yeah, because it was about the suicide that wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. You must be suffering from shock. The shock of hearing the truth. And now, since you're so in, in so much shock, you can't do anything right. You're right, I can't do anything. But boy, do I wish I could do something about you. All right then, Sonny, show me what you've got. Can you show me proof that Ungar didn't bear any ill will towards one? Oh. Uh, I don't know, let's check. I don't know if we have proof of that. That that Ungar didn't. No, I don't think we have that proof. No. Yeah, we're trying to defend one. Or, uh, Ungar. Ungar. Yeah. But we do, I don't think we have evidence of that. It's a decline. I don't have anything to offer. See, just as I thought. And you were lecturing me about saying things without proof. You've just given me a free pass to say whatever I want, whatever. Or did we have to present the newspaper? Uh, we'll see what the other. Oh no, didn't. Are. Not did. Okay. That's the way the cookie crumbles for you anyway. Thank you, old man. So I okay. took action. What did she do? Oh, she was gonna confront. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. So what did you mean by I took action? Mm -hmm. Like I already told you, I was lying in wait close to the crime scene. 
Once that slimy woman came out of Wad's room, I was gonna capture her and teach her a good lesson. Capture? <laughs> Something you youngins need. You are going to teach her a good lesson? I was going to make her eat the damaging beams of my ray gun. Like this. No, stop. Okay, yeah, please do. It was too bad that woman didn't come through the door that night. Boy. Top secret, okay. Hold. Wait. Matua. What? I'm an apple busy woman. Tea time with the kids is over. Secret information that no one else knows yet. If that's true, then how do you know the secret information? Huh? Well, that's because I'm a pro. Yes, that's... Oh, maybe someone told her. Even if you drill a hole in my brain, you'll never find out. No. How in the world did that old bat get such a secret? Wait a second. Didn't we figure this out last time? She knew what the... Um... We'll press further first, see what happens. Alright. If you don't be a good girl and tell me what you've got, uh, where you got the secret information, you won't get to go home. <laughs> um, Edgy boy, what are you doing? Help me! Uh, what do I have to do with this? Just do this for me. You'll get your reward. I don't want to know what that oh, is. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I don't want your reward, but you don't leave me much of a choice. Objection! Oh. But wit the witness should have, could have gotten her information from anywhere. It's even possible that it was spontaneously made up inside the witness's head. And he lectures me on reckless uh, blabbering. As long as we don't know where this information came from, it's quite a waste of time to focus on this line of question. I think we do need to do that, that though. It has to be something I can use to figure it out. Remember before when I was saying, how did she know that when it was next week's gossip thing or whatever? She knew it a day in advance. Lotta mentioned she had notes to her next story Wait, in the but camera. the camera was stolen. Yeah, what if Old Bag stole it? That's what I'm thinking. Dirty Old Bag. But you can't just ignore it either. It makes your client look bad. Well, I don't think I heard anything. I think I said that was ordinary just now. There has to be something we can catch from. And when I find it, I'm going to press the heck out of it. Yeah, let's try that again. Except instead of press further, present evidence. Yeah. Alright. Wait. Oh, yeah. We don't need to do this again. Yeah. <laughs> well, she did get kind of nervous there. Mm -hmm. So no one else is supposed to know this? Oh, yeah. N okay. That, that kind of makes sense, though. That's what I thought last time, yeah. If that's true, then why do, uh, why do you know it was old back? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Stop that! Witness. I'm sad to say it, but this is uh, this is how you found out that this secret... This secret... I think it's that. All right. Take that! Oh, yeah, okay. The investigative, investigative photographer, lot of heart. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I remember that mischievous girl from like a, a couple trials ago. She reported that she had lost a certain note she had written to herself. She reported such a thing? On that piece of paper she had written down some of her uh, outrage. Yeah, I was going to say outrageous. Oh, yeah. uh, impressions about the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. What? What? Outrageous ideas, you say? Oh, is this cornered? You haven't heard this in a long time. No, 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 I said impressions. Was this even present in the last case at all? It had to have been. I don't even remember. Then, then! I remember it was with Eeny Meeny, and then she started spinning the hat when this happened, but I don't remember the last one. Then everything written on this piece of paper is completely meaningless. Oh, what's that piece of paper? You just proved that you did That's it. That's yeah. the note. Oh, that's a new face, isn't it? No, you see, this is something completely different. This is just my list of groceries to buy. Top secret list. Then you are the one who took Miss Hart's notes. I'm a huge fan of Bonds, that's why. That infamous puffy-haired whippersnapper. <laughs> puffy -haired. She's working with that evil on guard. She said to herself, on guard, I'm the sidekick. 
She was so happy, smiling like a silly duck. I was only checking what she had written. Edgy Poo, you believe me, don't you? <laughs> I was only trying to help out like the angel I am. It's only one little piece of paper. I've never taken anything else before. You really should come back with a supply of cheese to match your vintage wine. <laughs> wine? That was, that was clever every day said that. Well, it was only a piece of paper. I suppose we can overlook this just once. Uh, she looks like she's really sorry. Should I forgive her? No! Pile on more pressure. If I let up on her now, she'll get away. I have to find some way to inflict a deafening blow to this, to the prosecution. Witness. You said that the only thing you stole was that note. Oh, it was in the camera. Yeah. Is this correct? Stole? Don't you mean... Well, uh, listen more carefully, you annoying brat. I saved this piece of paper from the lonely trash can, that's all. You're lying, damn it, I can prove it. Unless she did find it in the trash can and the camera was somewhere else. It's a possibility. Are you putting my credibility under scrutiny again? Miss Old Bag. I don't believe that the note uh, is the only thing you stole that night. So the what? Camera again, again, I guess. Take that. Take that. Miss Old Bag. That note was with a camera inside its case, wasn't it? A camera? Yesterday, Lodhart was raising a huge stink over her camera. <laughs> a huge stink. She, she kept saying something like, My sweetie 16... Uh, wait, I don't know how to say that. Uh, 1600. Yeah. Uh, camera disappeared on me. Why, witness? What is it, Gramps? If you have the note, then it is only logical that you have the camera as well. Grr, looks like you found me out again, Sonny. Is this the camera you're looking for? Oh. Uh, that. What? Even though I look like this, I'm still a person, you know? I still eat meals like you. I fall in love and borrow things from people. Ah. Um, I think your definition of borrow is a little off. I saw that woman's business card, and that's when I noticed it said, Slime Bag Celebrity Photographer Extraordinaire. Well, when I saw that, I didn't know what sort of pictures she had taken. I'm a professional security guard. It's my business to know these things. Yeah, true. Bailiff, check this camera's photos. Hurry, I bet you there's going to be some important photo on there. You must examine them at once. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what do we have? There is only one photo that seems to be relevant to this case. The rest are unspeakable. Please present it to the court. Oh, is that... This, this is the Nickel Samurai. See, I told you, that's the guy I saw. This proves the witness was not lying earlier about this map. But that doesn't prove that there was Matt because it's in costume. Yeah. What does all this mean, Mr. Edward? This photo by itself does not prove that the person in it is the defendant. However, in his own confession, Mr. Ongar clearly stated that at the time of the murder, he was still in his nickel samurai costume. If that is the case, then this nickel samurai is the defendant. Hmm, interesting. How did it come to this? I think this brings us to the end. We have examined every piece of evidence thoroughly. Final comments, Mr. Wright? The court will consider them before we close. Uh oh. Do you agree that this photo is decisive evidence against your client? If this photo really is decisive. And we're done for. Yeah. But if I raise an objection here and blow it, I would put uh, Maya's life in jeopardy. Well, either way, Maya's life would be in jeopardy. I can't make a mistake here. There's only one road out of this mess. There's nothing strange with this. It's there has to be something. There's got to be something wrong with it. If there was nothing strange with it, we'd just lose. Okay. I, I'm guessing. There's, there's something strange with this photo. I knew this was coming right. Your thoughts, Mr. Edgeworth? I think we can agree that there is nothing strange with this photo. There is no way for the defense to debunk this photo, even with a bunker buster. Okay. 
debunk with a bunker buster? Is that what you're planning to do, Mr. Wright? Um, anyway, please look at the photo one more time. If you really believe you can honestly find something wrong with this phone, then you should only need one chance, correct? Oh, no. That's why I wanted to get the walkthrough ready. Um, well... Just in case. Okay. Why the heck did she take this picture anyway? What was it? The hallway, right? It's all out of focus. Why can't she take a good shot, especially when it counts? Now then, let's hear your objection. What about this photo is strange? Hard to see anything. Really. Oh. Okay. You see something? There's flowers. Yeah. And outside of Juan's room, there's the teddy bears. Oh, is that true? Unless was were they outside the room? Because if that if so, that means he's just leaving his room, which would make sense. That's an interesting theory. Let me see. Uh -huh. I might double check it just to be safe, but um. That's interesting. I don't know, I can't see anything wrong with like the suit. They don't show like room numbers. Yeah. Ugh, I always use the wrong hand. I can never use the uh, <laughs> the thing with gloves on, which is why I take off one as well. But, uh... What yeah. does this say? Let's see. It said that there was something wrong with the bottom of the... The samurai. Oh, really? Apparently. Oh. The nickel samurai's socks are shown? In the photo, however, he's holding the hakama up as he walks. Oh, it's saying that the person that is wearing the costume is too short for the length of the skirt to be all the way at the bottom? Apparently. That is not at all what I thought it would be. How can you tell that from the picture? I don't know. But that's the answer, apparently. So where do I click? Like, right at the bottom. Here? Yeah. Take that! Take that! Weird. Ah, uh, I'm directing your attention to this one area right here. What are you pointing to? His ankles? If you could see this person's ankle, uh, that would be one thing. However, you can't. And what does that mean? The Nickel Samurai. In this, this photo, photo could have not, not have, have been Mr. Mr. Ungar. Ungar. Yeah. What is the meaning of this? Yeah, very valid point. Objection! I wonder if you would care to elaborate with actual facts, that is. Let's take a look at the Nickel Samurai's poster. Oh. Yeah, because it's saying here you can see. Please pay attention to the area around the bottom of the hook. This is not some that conclusion I would have drawn. His socks. You can see his socks. I did, I never looked at that picture. So yeah, his socks. neither did I. Exactly. However, in this photo, yeah, the, he's clearly holding his hakama up just to walk. So it's saying that someone else was in the costume, someone short. Oh, okay. There's only one explanation for this. The person, the person inside, inside this costume, costume is clearly, clearly much, much shorter than, than the, the defendant. defendant. Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's just put everyone in a lineup then. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I've turned. Or have someone try? Everyone try on the yeah. costume. Yeah. That's cute. Huh? What is? Edgeworth is usually calm. Today. Is unusually calm today. That's true. He's just letting the trial run itself, as if he's only along for the ride. Along for the ride. What do you mean by that? I can only think that perhaps he doesn't feel under attack at all. He doesn't feel under attack. Then he's not taking any da damage. <laughs> Phoenix's attack missed! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where does this leave us? If the person in this photo is not mad on guard, then everything the prosecution has tried to prove has become meaningless. Hmm. I thought it would come to this. Right, I have something I want to ask you. I think you have proven the person inside this costume is not Matt on guard. In that case, who is this a photo of? Well, it seems of all the suspects, Adrian is probably the only one that's shorter, right? I'm, I'm guessing. 
Don't stress out over this, Felix. It's very simple. What you should be focused on is Edgeworth's attitude, don't you think? Uh, yeah, why is he so calm? Mr. Wright, let's hear your thoughts. Who is the person in this photograph? Oh, I can take a big beating for this. Yeah. <laughs> it's Francisca. <laughs> the, actually, the funny thing is, um, on the Ace Attorney wiki, they list the official heights of all the characters, and Francesca actually is very short. She's only like 4'11", I think. Oh. But since she wears high heels, you, can, you don't always notice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think him. Manfred is like six feet tall, which is quite tall. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. A lot uh, of heart. I, myself, I think I'm 5'9". Five 5'9". Nine. Five nine. Yeah. Could it be the victim? Or did he really... I know he died in his... Yeah, well, he was wearing the Jam Ninja costume. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I think out of all the people we've seen, it's Adrian. That's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> She's the only real other person. Though. Yeah, because she committed suicide. All right. Take that. Adrian Andrews. If you want to know who that Nickel Samurai is, it is none other than, none other than this woman. And why would you say it would be Miss Andrews? What in the world points you to her? For starters, she's short. And she could freely move in and out of Mr. Ongard's room. Finally, she had dinner with Mr. Ongard that night. And how does this all add up? It means that uh, it makes it very easy for her to get a certain item. Of oh, the knife, yeah. Mm, right, yeah. A certain knife with Mr. Ongard's fingerprints all over it. The knife that was used as a murder weapon? Why don't you just say what it is you want, right? I have to do this now. This is my last chance to turn things around. Final chance. You know, one thing I was considering doing for this last case was getting in the Edgeworth suit instead, but I wanted to make it different. Well, if you had gotten in the Edgeworth suit, that might have... Uh... Oh, wait, just for the last case? Yeah, because Edgeworth is the prosecutor. Yeah. So. Uh, the, the defense motions to indict. Uh, indict. In indict. Yeah, it's kind of a weird oh. word. Okay. Uh, Adrian Andrews in the murder of Juan Carita, so we're accusing her. Yeah. It was, it was Ms. Ms. Andrews, Andrews who tried to frame, frame the defendant, defendant for the crime. crime. Yeah. I really like this music. Order, order, order! It looks like this trial has hit a most unexpected development. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. This court is issuing a subpoena for Miss Adrian Andrews. Uh oh. A verdict cannot be passed without first hearing her testimony. All right, this is it. This is kind of bad for us. What do you mean? If Adrian Andrews is so much a as a witness, it means the trial will go on for another day. One more day. Back. Well, what else can we do? Yeah. I need to save mine. Now then, we shall set Miss Andrews' testimony for tomorrow. What am I supposed to do? The judge is about to adjourn the court. Object, I guess. Oh, we didn't get to to the objection. Now then, okay. objection! There we go. It was just a little later. Please, Your Honor, continue the trial. You must pass a verdict today. I can't do that. We cannot hear Miss Andrews' testimony if she's not. I abhor wasting such valuable time. Edgeworth. Your Honor, I request you please continue with today's trial. Uh, but we cannot continue due to this unexpected de development. Unexpected development. I think you, are un you underestimate me, Your Honor. What do you mean by that? That Mr. Phoenix Wright would slave his way to subpoenaing, subpoenaing Ms. Adrian Andrews is all happening according to plan, even if Wright was a bit slow to catch on. Well, well, well. What? According to plans. They make Edgeworth seem like a super prosecutor here. Yeah, he's he's got something figured out behind us, it seems, I think. What is the meaning of your statement, Mr. Edgeworth? Miss Adrian Andrews is currently await currently waiting in the prosecution room. She's the next witness. Was according uh, was planned out in advance by that man. So how I knew there was no way to overlook Miss Andrews. Looks like this battle is far from over. 
Exactly. But did, he knows about Maya's situation, right? I don't know if he does. I can't Very remember for sure. Gumshoe knows, I think. Oh, right? yeah, okay. I don't know if Edward does. We will call the next witness. If he did, it would make sense. Yeah. He's cooperating with this. However, before we proceed, we shall take a ten minute recess. Please prepare your witness in that time, Mr. Edward. The court will now take a ten minute recess. Alright. To be continued. Oh. Even though we can. Should we go right ahead into the next segment? We could, I think. Because we had spent like five minutes looking on the. Uh, waiting for the thing to load. Yeah. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. March 22nd. Dude, I can't believe that Adrian. No way. Not cool and collected Adrian Andrews. She's your manager. It would have been very easy for her to pull this off. The only person who had easy access to the knife you used at dinner was, well, her and him, but was that client. So after the ceremony, during the break, huh? Oh, we haven't seen this before. I was sleeping like a log the entire time. She could have also planted that bloody covered button in your hakama. Hmm, because she was the one that came to wake me up? Then, dude, you're saying it really was her? Yes, yeah, she's the real killer, supposedly. She was the only one who murdered. The only one who murdered Juan Carita. But why? I thought she was buds with Juan. She has her own agenda. Her own agenda? What are you talking about? I'm sure you'll see by that the time this trial's over. I'll be all right. I'll get you acquitted by the end of today. Get me a verdict that's refreshing like a spring breeze, okay, Mr. Lawyer Dude? is related to Celeste and Max missing suicide note, right? Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's not going to figure out yet. Miss Andrews depended on uh, Miss Impacts for her strength and will to live. But then Miss Impacts suddenly killed herself, yeah. Why? You still don't know why, yeah. It sounds like she left an, a suicide note and the person uh, thought to have hidden it. Is Juan Carita the victim of this murder? And that's why I think that Miss Andrews got close to, to him. I'll to get the suicide note back. That sounds plausible. But one thing bothers me. What? Who was it that first told us about their relationship? Uh, the tabloid? Better stated, Miss... Mr. Andrews' codependency with regards to Miss... Who's Mr. Andrews? Is that a... Is it a typo? A typo? Or did we just... Is that in our... Is that a piece of evidence? I, I don't know. I'm guessing it's a typo, because we've never heard of a Mr. Andrews yet. See, yeah, she was shocked. Or maybe there is a... It was Edgeworth. Looks like he's still the one in command of this ship. Don't let your guard down yet. We won't. Mm. Numero tres. What? That's when it's called number three. Oh. Uh, numero tres is Spanish for number three. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll now have to speak Spanish. The court will now reconvene. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth, if you please. Protesto. The prosecution calls the witness subpoenaed by this court. Miss Adrian Andrews, the person who discovered the crime, and Mr. Juan Car Carita's room. There we go. I think it let out. What is your occupation? And she was Southern, right? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. I am the manager of the defendant in this case, Mr. Matt God. Oh, I see. Now then. Before we begin, Your Honor, I have one request. Uh, yeah, sure. What is it? I'm sure everyone in this room is wondering the same thing. I would love to find out more about my relationship with the victim. After all, it was the topic of a certain weekly magazine recently. Uh, no, I have no idea what you mean. I've never heard, even heard of gossip lab. If the judge was ever a, a prosecution witness, he'd do all my work for me. Well, actually, he is a uh, oh, witness. You cross examined yeah. Edgeworth, yeah. Edgeworth. Yeah. Anyway, I was wondering why this cravat is so difficult to fix. If you could please tell us about your relation to the victim. Yes, I was seeing Mr. Carita. 
I was also aware of the rivalry that existed between them and the Lord. But this was a private matter between the Lord and myself. So was it Fry and Bateman? Or was that Bateman Fry? It reminds me of fish. But I didn't kill him. No one has accused you of that except right over here. I've got a feeling someone will soon. Hmm. I think we'll understand your relationship with the victim now, Miss Andrews. Very well, then. Witness, please testify to the court about what happened when you had discovered the murder that had taken place. When I found the body. It was time for the show to start, so I went off to get Matt from his room. After that, I went to Juan's room, and there was his dead body. I, I was in shock. That's where the glass came from. What I saw was naturally the exact same scene as in the crime scene photo. I felt as though I was about to faint, so I poured myself a glass of juice. Wow. Then you'd leave your prints on the scene, wouldn't you? You poured yourself a glass of juice. There's a dead body. I'm gonna get some juice first. Yeah. Logical thing to do. <laughs> It'd be funny next time uh, in... Um, Oh, never mind. I'll think of that later. Yes, sadly, I don't remember not to touch things at the scene of a crime. And I distributed the crime scene by moving this one thing. Disturbed, sir. And that is what, when the fingerprints on the wine glass were made, Your Honor. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Phoenix. She is one cruel and collected customer. She has the brains to match. Yeah, I know. In order to catch a person like her, you have to avoid head-on confrontations. You should disrupt her pace. Disrupt her pace? She's the type of woman who's easily thrown off by things inconsistent with her thinking, so you have to attack when she least expects it. The instant you let up on her offense is the instant this trial is over, understand? Comprende. All right, I think we'll actually end the episode there. I'm thinking of just making this one a little bit shorter. Um, and next time we will cross-examine Adrian Anders. Yeah, what's she hiding?